Thanks everybody for joining the live stream. Today's today's live stream is kind of last minute thing. There's a if you're from the Columbia, South Carolina area, you may have heard about a missing diver that just went missing in uh, Lake Murray, which is where we're at. And if you ever driven by Lake Murray, we're right by the dam here, and we're out kind of. I'm just. To be honest, I'm kind of just doing my part because I'm, I'm local and this guy went missing. There's no car involved. You know, this is a hard search. This water gets deep. I mean, it gets down. My sonar was reading to like, what, 180 it got down to? Got pretty deep. Um, I'm also out with my brother, Phil. How's it going, yo? And uh, Honey. And uh, I think you met, I think Phil was on one of my videos before a while back diving. Back in the snorkel days. Snorkel days, yeah, it's been a while. But uh, yeah, today we're out searching. I actually, um, I just wanted to make a quick like awareness video about this. I'm hoping that he's found. He went missing Wednesday. He was diving with a group of other divers out here in Lake Murray. If you guys aren't familiar with um, Lake Murray area, there's actually, this is a man-made lake. It's really big. And uh, there was an old town here. And there's like old railroad bridge, old train track, like buildings and stuff. And um, he was out with a group of divers and diving on like a stone structure from what I understand. And he didn't come, he didn't surface with everyone else, sadly. So it's like, it was Wednesday that he went missing. Today's Friday, so it's been a couple days. And we were going around, apparently from what I, I'm not really familiar. I did get certified here in Lake Murray. Hey everybody, thanks for joining. Uh, Nug's not here today because this was such a last minute thing. And I, this is right, uh, pretty close to where I live. But there's these hydroelectric towers right by the dam. And apparently the stone structure that he was diving with on was like over there in that area. Um, police and other sonar teams have been out here searching as well. Their boats are still out over here. You can kind of see one if I zoom in. So there's one police boat. There's a couple of them out there and there's, they're running sonar. Try to catch up with these. Yeah, they're running sonar. They've been doing it for a couple days. I, I mean, I think they're going to keep going until he's found. I, I hope he's found and, and, it, and is able to be brought home as soon as possible. Because it's just a, it's just a terrible, terribly sad situation to happen when you're out, you know, diving. But it's a. Uh, he was with a group of divers. I, I don't know the details. I don't. I don't even know his name. Um, I just know the whole diving community is really mourning right now, trying to come together, doing everything they can. My local dive shops even was helping out. Uh, with equipment because i think they've been diving doing patterns but i just wanted to make like a quick live stream for kind of like an awareness video uh and if i have more details about him being found hopefully as soon as possible i'll put that in the in the description i hope you guys are having a great day just wanted to do a quick live here it's been a while since i did a live stream and what i was doing to help i mean i have the sonar running And you can see right here, it's 139 feet. It gets pretty deep. Fish. Oh yeah. So that's the uh, down imaging. Well, that's a side scan. So that's kind of what we're looking at. It's very deep. Somewhere around this area near these towers, I mean, it is where he went missing. And there's the police boat right there, so. The sonar isn't gonna really help me much. They have actually like an official, like tow fish, I think sonar, they're dragging behind this boat. I'm trying to kind of stay out of their way, cause I'm just, I wasn't asked, um, I wasn't asked to help or come out here or anything like that, I just, wanted to come out because I had my uh, underwater drone, my five fish. And so that is a way that I was like, you know what, this, my sonar might be able to pick up, you know, a person at a much shallower uh, depth, but it's so difficult even a shallow depth to find somebody. But I do have this uh, five fish underwater drone. So I, I sent this out. I was using this for a couple <laughs> hours and my, my dog's really interested in it. Honey, this is my dog. 
Australian Shepherd. But yeah, the Five Fish Underwater Drone is pretty cool. I made a video about it before they sent this to me. It's a really cool product. It's got lights, camera, and everything like that. And uh, so I was going around searching the area just to see what I could find. And I mean, it's it's literally a needle in a haystack out here. This, this is kind of the general area. So it's not a complete, you know, overwhelming. Cause I mean, this, this lake is huge. And once again, this is a, if you guys are just tuning in, there's a missing scuba diver in Lake Murray, South Carolina, where I'm at. And he went missing. People have been out here searching, got the search boats, police boats going around here. I just wanted to come out and see if I could help out at all. I got my underwater drone. It's kind of like, it's kind of a very helpless situation. I wish I could do more. I wish there was like a vehicle involved or something. Cause I, I mean, we're pretty good at looking for vehicles, but we used the underwater drone and I was able to look around and, and clear a small area, but that's about the extent of what I could do. But I just wanted to make this as an awareness video, if anything for the man, if you want to search, um, if you want more details, there's not a lot that I could find. They're trying to be, I think, respectful for the family and all that. But uh, if you search missing diver, Lake Murray, South Carolina, you can read up a little bit more about the story. I just want to do a quick live and then also kind of connect with you guys because it's been a minute. We'll put around here and do some more sonar. This is the last post of the year. <laughs> the last? Oh, yeah, it is almost the last of the year. It's been a crazy year, though. That's my brother. Well, we have another, well. Big brother. Yeah. <laughs> oldest brother, oldest of, oldest. oldest of three, four toe. Four. Man, it is, uh, it's pretty deep out here, 165. Um, as far as dragging, there's a lot of trees and limbs. It's deep. It's, it's murky, a lot of big rocks. I don't know if that'd be the best idea. There's also like old structures out here. You know, there's this old building, which apparently he was diving on and it was a, uh, two days ago, Wednesday, I believe he's been missing. so deep but i appreciate you guys tuning in on the lives and um thanks to all my members that are joining us you guys amber Di dj diane thank you all for tuning in yeah we have a uh me and Nug have a lot of you know we weekly we go out like every monday tuesday wednesday usually at least two or three days a week and go searching for different people and cars this was really the last not a planned uh video but I have, you know, the, the pontoon boat, which is perfect for like lakes in this kind of uh, scenarios. So, I mean, it's really, I, it's, it's difficult to identify, you know, a body in general. He was wearing, I guess he still has all his BCD, his scuba gear on and all that. But even then, like, it, it'd be difficult in shallow water. This is 160, 100 to 170 feet deep out here. It, uh, it's a lot. Yeah, it's a lot. Yeah, Nug, uh, Nug's doing good. He was, I, I talked to him last night and, uh, it's just, too far of a drive last minute and honestly it's kind of I kind of feel like I'm not doing a lot besides just like with the underwater drone you know I feel I feel a little helpless to be honest in this type of video but I just figure I'd rather get out here and search than do nothing at all we look like twins well that's my <laughs> oldest brother we're similar yeah eh. a little bit yeah I can see that in the eyes and face yeah y'all haven't um 
Y'all haven't seen him probably before. It's been a while. I'll have a lot of new people since the last time he was on a video. I think it's been about two years since I've been on with you. Two years? <laughs> this is Phil, if you guys don't know. One question. Uh, who do you know when you guys find a, a body in a car? If you find, How do you know? Well, as far as ca cars are so much easier to, to spot on the sonar, I mean, when you're going over it, I mean, it'll, it'll pop out. You'll see a shadow or something. This is kind of a horrible sonar shot because it's so deep. And we're looking at 150 feet here. You can see the bottom. I mean, you can tell that it's the bottom and you can see rocks. But as far as details, it's very difficult. Yeah, anything helps. I mean, that's what I feel like. And there's only so many people in the area that can, you know, spend time and, and leave work and go search. I'm, you know, I have pretty good equipment. And the, the underwater drone, you can see the clarity. The clarity is pretty good. Phil's not well. He, there's a life, there's another life jacket on the boat, but this is a pontoon boat. We're going very slow. We're being safe, guys. There's no current. I mean, there's no wakes out here. So can I zoom in on it? Uh, there's not really much to zoom in on. The sonar screen, it's, it's kind of a lousy shot. Uh, my depth limit, I've, I've never dove 100 feet. I've probably gone like 70 at the max, but most of the time we're in rivers, you know, and even lakes not far out. We're near the boat ramp, so. I mean, I've gone, uh, I dove on a wreck in South Carolina, and that was like 70 feet, I want to say, 60, 70. Is there a specific setting so you can get the best picture? I mean, the settings, you're kind of constantly, you're kind of constantly tweaking. Like if we go over to the edge, and the faster I go, I kind of have a jerry-rigged setup. My transducer on the pontoon boat. Everybody's saying hi, Phil. Hi, Barb. Hi, Elizabeth. Well, we'll if we go over to the shallower spot over here, you'll be able to see a much better detail. But out here, it's 140 feet. You can see it's starting to get shallower a little bit. It'll start coming up. Hi, Donna. <laughs> Everybody, El Felipe. Everybody's saying El Felipe. <laughs> um, so that's our side scan, and this is our down imaging. That's looking straight down and giving you a side profile. And this is your right and left side scanning. And once again, I mean, as far as looking for a body on sonar, it's kind of extremely difficult. It's definitely not something I'm good at. I mean, I'm pretty good at finding cars because they're kind of easy to see. They pop off a lot. But, I mean, the reality of finding, like, a body out here is, is so, is so much, so much more difficult. But, I mean, yeah, you're kind of constantly tweaking these settings. And, I'm, you know, I'm learning more and more every single week using this thing uh I, so as far as who the diver is i don't actually know i just know uh, i think i think i don't think his name is public yet um i know he's a local diver and the diving community around here is very close knit. i mean they're very um what's the word they're very like they have a strong bond you know they're very close together very passionate a lot, and, of uh, a lot of camaraderie like everybody knows each other kind of in this area so um a lot of people have been mourning I, I i i know my local dive shops helped out um helped the police they're uh they're one of their boats is right there running sonar that's kind of out in the area and they have a they have a better sonar than me they have they have like a tow fish Um, what was I saying? Oh yeah. So if, yeah, if you guys want to know more information about this, I'm kind of making this live stream as an awareness video. Cause it's, I feel like it's kind of all I can do. I have a uh, underwater drone here that we sent around, but it's very difficult kind of to get a great idea. I mean, I'm seeing rocks. I saw some trash with it, some, some, some uh, old trees and stuff, but as far as big fish, there was, I did see some fish out here. I mean, it's, this is a huge lake. It's a lot of water to cover. I know the general area. He was diving down uh, on a on an old stone structure because there's an old town down here. There's buildings, all types of stuff. Hopefully, I think we're gonna go over some of these things, and then. But it's uh, if you guys want to know more information, if you search 
scuba diver missing Lake Murray, South Carolina. You should be able to read up more, but I don't believe there's much more information, but it's, it's a really sad situation. Um, but I just wanted to put the drone out, do some sonar. See, if, I mean, they've been running pad search patterns up and down. Uh, Ninja Mama, I am not a diver, but I'm just here to help him out and yeah. uh, hang out with my brother. You've gone snorkeling and free diving with me. I've gone snorkeling. I have spent more time <laughs> under the water than you have. Yeah, you were in the, sub <laughs> in, the in the submarines in the Navy. So how, how long have you been underwater technically? Uh, I spent about two years underwater on a submarine, but uh, never got wet, so. <laughs> The uh, the motor doesn't like to putt. It overheats if I'm going too slow. But then if I'm going too fast, I can't get a great reading on the sonar. So we're kind of heading back though. I mean, you can see there a lot of the. We're 50 feet here. You can kind of see some. It's really sandy. There are some big rocks. I mean, over here, we can see all the rocks are piled up. We should be getting kind of close. What do you think, like, these kind of, uh, is that just rocks and, uh... I think some of those are, like, drag marks sometimes. That Well, that looks more like an indention. I don't know. It's hard to say for sure. But, like, those little... I mean, I'm shooting... I'm shooting 250 feet, so... Everything is going to look a lot smaller. Let's go back down to like 150. So those are probably like some tree, trees and rocks and stuff. I mean, if I, those are all, we're getting pretty close to the rocks over here. So that's kind of what you're, that's kind of what you're seeing on the right side. Sorry if my camera work is terrible. It's, it's not exactly an easy setup here. I mean, people throw, I, I know guns have been found off this dam. It goes all up and down. I mean, there's, it's really low, first of all, today, you can see. But there's like a, a trash can, a bunch of trash that's been washed up ashore over there. So I guess they lower the water at certain times of the year. I mean, it's really sad, too. People throw garbage, but I know guns have been found out here. I mean, there's some stuff over here. There's something right there. I mean, that was casting kind of a bigger shadow. That might be something interesting to go back over. Uh, no, I don't believe air tanks are magnetic. Unless they're steel. I mean, they do make steel tanks. Most people don't dive with those. Everybody's saying thank you for my service. I appreciate it. There's a whole lot of you. <laughs> oh, yeah, there's a lot. The support, the support, one thing you learn is the support of people... Y'all subscribing, I, I I mean, it's unreal. Yeah, this is my first live stream ever, so <laughs> it's kind of a cool experience. <laughs> I haven't live streamed in a while. I feel like I'm really close. Yeah, he was last seen near the hydraulic intake towers. I mean, I, I don't know. I think, I don't know how the hydraulic uh, towers work. Maybe you guys have more of an idea than me. But um, I think they have like grates or filters stuff that stops things from being sucked in that are oversized, I would guess. Yeah, with all the uh, the logs and limbs that are floating around or that we're seeing on sonar, there's gotta be a uh, some kind of safety feature. Yeah, I, I don't know, but there are some big pipes and stuff over there. Your ex-husband was in the Royal Navy for 22 uh, years. Nice. I've worked with some uh, Royal Navy submariners a few times. They're, uh, we'd always uh, host them at uh, soccer games between the uh, U.S. sailors and the uh, 
the, the uh, Royal Navy sailors, they'd always uh, really, uh, they'd destroy us. <laughs> what even close. <laughs> Yeah, I'm sure you got some stories. <laughs> just a few. <laughs> um, yeah, if you guys are just tuning in, I'm just kind of making an awareness video. Once again, I'm going to keep repeating myself, but uh, there's a missing scuba diver here in Lake Murray, South Carolina. We were missing two days ago, and uh, the police, DNR, other people have been searching. There's these towers back behind me. I don't know if you can see them here, the hydraulic towers. He was diving on with a group of divers, and he didn't come up, so it's a really sad situation. And uh, I was running my underwater drone over here. I have trying to see if I can help out any way I can. The sonar can only help out so much because it's so deep. I mean, he went missing in like 117 feet of water. So I think he'll be found. Um, I'm, you know, I'm praying he's, he's, he'll be found. And uh, keeping the, I just ask that you guys keep his family in y'all's prayers because he was just out enjoying himself. You know, they were diving on a stone structure. This is a man-made lake, so there's all types of stuff out here you can dive on. It's really cool. This is actually the lake I got certified in, and I live pretty close by, so. This is probably the closest search you've ever done. <laughs> One of them, yeah, yeah. I mean, it's, the underwater drones the better way I can help out in this scenario. The, the sonars, it's gonna be so hard to see a person on the sonar screen here, especially when it's like deeper. I mean, you can kind of see outlines of like some logs and limbs and stuff in here. But I just, I don't know, I just felt like I didn't want to do nothing. I wanted to at least come out and just see if I could just try, you know, just trying is better than nothing. But I'll let you guys know if uh, there are any more details. I just wanted to do a quick live stream, connect and chat with you guys here. It's, uh, it's warmed up a little bit today. It's like 60, 60 degrees. Yeah, this has got to be people helping out with those divers or something. Yeah, I mean, there's... People uh, up there have been there for, for several hours. I, I, there's, like, a bunch of parking up there. I think, I'm guessing it's probably the family. This is, like, the boating dock area over there. Once again, nobody asked me to come out. I just live nearby. I wanted to come out because I have some equipment. And, uh... But I think the most helpful thing I can do is make awareness, make this video as an awareness video. So, I mean... I, I don't know. I feel like I haven't really done much, but um, I might come out here more. I'm hoping he's found today or, you know, as soon as possible. It's definitely a big community effort. And, uh, you know, if any if any of the family are watching, you know, my heart goes out to you. It's, I, I, if, if there's anything I can do, please let me know. Please reach out. Uh, I also have my partner, Nug, Jeremy. He's not here, but we're both willing to do more sonar, do more searching and diving if there's any assistance needed um my email is adam brown vlogs v l o g s at gmail.com but it just it felt you know it just felt kind of personal because it's so close to home and there's a couple other cases i've been searching a lot for and uh, in the nearby area i just i don't know but it's a very sad situation but you're getting a lot of love phil <laughs> I know, it feels so special. <laughs> Best Christmas present ever. Yeah, we, we had a pretty good Christmas. I know New Year's is coming up here. Happy New Year's to everybody. I wish I wish this video was more of a positive, on a positive note. Uh, but, you know, that's just kind of how it is. But we're going to keep doing some sonar. I just wanted to do a quick live if you guys uh, haven't... I haven't seen you guys in a while, but I appreciate you watching all my videos and liking them. Uh, I've been trying to put out as many as I can. It's getting a little overwhelming with the Re Wrecked and Recovered YouTube channel. If you guys have not subscribed, that's me and Jeremy's uh, team channel. We have the tow truck on that channel. We travel around, but doing, doing those videos is very stressful because I try to make them more highly produced. And uh, I think I've been, I think they've been going well, but so when did the, the diver go missing? It was two days ago, I guess Wednesday. Um, they were doing a dive with a group of other divers. And uh, from what I understand, they were diving around a stone structure out here and he didn't surface. So um, I, I don't know who he is or what happened. It's very much a mystery, but I know that 
everybody's been coming together searching and I, I think other divers are over here at the parking lot um, just trying to help and bring them home so <laughs> yeah I, 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 I don't know I'm trying to bring awareness to this to this because uh, I'm also a diver it's very it's very tragic I'm, I'm hoping that you know he's found safe but the reality is uh, it, it's not looking that way so it's, it's very sad so yeah just keep praying and keep uh, praying for the diver and his family I don't know if there's gonna be a GoFundMe or anything like that but if there is anything or any updates I will let you guys know I just wanted to do a quick live stream once again we're running sonar oh it's getting really shallow over here oh wow yeah it's only four yeah, six really feet shallow. yeah the water's really low wasn't quite paying attention we almost hit rock bottom. The clarity is actually really good. That's the thing I was going to say, because uh, it's kind of colder and the water's really low. The clarity is good. I could see with my drone. I was using my underwater drone and I could see. So, I mean, I'll, I, I might put out a video here. Some of the stuff I shot, uh, especially if there's an update on the case. And I'll show you guys kind of what I was seeing. It gets As soon as you hit the bottom, though, uh, it stirs up the mud and it makes it gives you no viz. It's definitely a learning curve using the the underwater drone but the five fish underwater drone is really really great tool that they sent me and um how deep does the uh, drone go one of the i, I don't was asking. i don't know exactly but i think two to three hundred feet it can go we took it to like what 170 or i was down i was down pretty deep yeah i mean the line goes out <laughs> we ran out of really line. far yeah <laughs> so i think it can go down that far how deep was the stone structure? Uh, the stone structure was 110, 120 feet deep. So that's where he went missing. And they've been searching, scanning um, the whole area. I'm, I've been trying to kind of stay out of their way because I'm not actually working with them. I haven't talked to them yet. Um, but if there is anything I can do to help, I, I'm gonna do. I'm gonna be available. Love watching you, Nug. Thank you. Appreciate you guys watching. Yeah, it's 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 been getting overwhelming because the channel's been growing, which is amazing. The support, and uh, I try to heart. It's I can't comment and reply to everybody's comments, but I try to heart and leave a like on as many as I can. Um, it's very overwhelming, but I feel very feel very loved <laughs> doing these videos. It kind of feels surreal. Uh, this is my full time job at this point, but um, very thankful. The adjutant of, a, of the Sons of the American Legion, post 11 Newport. Newport, Kentucky. I am also an American Legion member, so uh, thank you for helping out in everything you do. And you're, uh, did you, was there race car ever? Yeah, I actually, uh, so I'm a mechanical engineer and I build race cars and help out with the team for a living. And we, uh, oh, there's the motor again. <laughs> We used to be the American Legion's uh, official race team, so... Uh, I think I need to switch the gas <laughs> tanks over. Probably about out of gas. Let me switch the tanks over. Um, but yeah, I just want to make a quick update on this case. Missing diver in Lake Murray, South Carolina. Um, if you guys are in the area, I, I mean, if you have sonars, it's kind of a big ask. But I'm just trying to bring awareness. I don't know who's going to watch this. There's a lot of things that can happen when you're just out here diving i mean there there is limbs there's structures underwater yeah I, I i understand it because i've been tangled up a lot diving on cars it is scary it is dangerous i mean he was with a group of people too and that's what makes it even more scary is like he was with other people and this still happened i don't know all the details but um i'll let you guys know if i hear anything else <laughs> I think and that's the, that's the other problem is I think his equipment would keep him down at the surface if it was just someone who drowned you know they usually they'll come back to the surface for a period of time but he had weights on a BC I'm assuming one I don't know how many tanks if it was more than one I mean I don't know it's it's uh it's very scary I'm assuming that he's not gonna float though with all that weight um Yeah, we're hoping for the best. I, 
I, I don't know. I've never dove on the buildings. I think it's more of like, like structures and remains, just walls. I don't even know if they have roofs. Um, there were like old planes that were taken out of here. And uh, there's like an old railroad track and bridge and stuff out here. It's really cool. I've only, I got certified over just in the shallow part over there. This is Lake Murray, South Carolina. It's a really nice lake, but it's man-made. I mean, there was an old town here. And you guys can like, you can, if you look, if you search uh, underwater town, Lake Murray, you can actually see some of the footage of the divers have gotten of these structures. So it's very fascinating, but it's very sad that this happens. And this is a reality. It's not, I mean, scuba diving can be very dangerous. Things can happen. So we always try to be safe as possible. Uh, the structures, some of them are marked. It's kind of one of those things where you, it's not like really obvious. I mean, I know it's in that area, especially in the boats are going around. Those sonar, the other sonar team and the police have been sonaring and scanning constantly. Uh, you live in Sioux City. When, it, when, when I saw you and Nug doing the Missouri River, I had concerns. Yeah, the Missouri River, definitely my least favorite river. That, that place, um, oh, scary. Strong current, no viz, logs and stuff flying through the water. Chocolate milk. Yeah, chocolate, it's not chocolate milk water, no viz, it's just not somewhere you want to be. Is it possible that he was able to free himself from the gear? I mean, we're trained to be able to like get in and out of our gear, but at that depth, you, you're supposed to do safety stops. You're supposed to be near a buddy. And if, if something happens with your air, you know, you, you tell the other diver, you go like this and you can grab their spare and use that. I don't know if he was diving with a full face mask. That makes it more difficult to do that. I don't, I don't know. I don't know these details. There's a lot. Um, but anything's possible. Things can go wrong and things do go wrong, sadly. So it, uh, it's definitely a fear of mine, but we do try. You know, we're working on getting uh, underwater comms, communications, to uh, be actually be able to hear each other. That way if I get stuck or something like that, that while we're diving on cars and searching, I mean, that, that's one of our goals, but... Um, can you talk to like the other diver? Yeah, so me and Jeremy can talk. He already has it. I just, it's, it's pretty expensive, uh, but it is on my list. And I think it's, you know, the price of your life versus something, a piece of a vital equipment, you know. I do have a, a GoFundMe we've been working on, and we're getting pretty close to be able to get that. So, um, yeah, he went missing a couple days ago. But I'm going to end this live stream, guys. I didn't want to go on too long. Uh, I just wanted to make a quick awareness video about this missing diver in Lake Murray. If I have more updates, I'll let you all know. I'll probably post a story. <clears throat> but Lake Murray, shout out to all the uh, other teams and police, law enforcement involved, you know, out here spending their days and their time. And I, and I don't know. It's just, it's just a lot. It's very sad. But if nothing's happened, uh, if, nof if they don't find anything, I'll come back out here and do some more drone searching. Um, maybe get a better idea of exactly where he is, but I hope that uh, he is found soon and is able to be brought home. But I thank you guys for tuning in and watching. Um, it's nice to meet everybody. Yeah. I'll be back sometime. In the yeah, future. I'm sure you'll see Phil soon. <laughs> you'll definitely see this crazy dog soon. <laughs> Honey. Yeah, she loves the boat. She was barking at like all the, uh, the birds and stuff <laughs> flying by. But I love you guys. Thanks for tuning in. Have a good new year. We have lots more videos coming. We're going to be searching every single week. So if you guys, you know, keep an eye out in your area. If people go missing, especially in vehicles, uh, send me an email. Send me a message and let me know. And we'll come out there and travel if it's, if it's, if it's drivable for us. Uh, send me an email to adambrownvlogs, V-L-O-G-S, at gmail.com. And uh, we'll look more into it. There's so many cases people send us, and we try to eventually get to them. And there's other teams, too, you know, doing the same thing. So we, we all appreciate y'all's help. Thanks for watching. Thanks for uh, tuning in. And we'll see you guys, I guess, in the next year. Yep. Happy the new, new Year, year everybody. Happy New Year, everybody.